Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be going to the nether and also setting up some immersive engineering. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, so today we have lots to get done. Um, in between episodes, I went ahead and set this up. I just made a drawer controller with some drawers, kind of get, get things a little bit more visual so we can see things going on um, and see what items we have and easily be able to craft some things before we have some automated crafting. Um, so this is just, I uh, just moved a few things around. Um, in between episodes, I also made a hammer, and uh, this hammer has aridite on it. It has slime, uh, so it's aridite and slime for the uh, two plates, and then the hammer head is iron to give myself magnetic, and then the handle is pig iron, so I can actually eat my uh, my hammer. So pretty nice there. Um, I think I can eat it. I thought I could eat it. I, it may just heal your hunger every now and then, and you like accidentally eat it sometimes. I don't know. But it has uh, luck on it, and just to get it started with luck, um, I'd put like 10, um, 10 lapis on there. And then it has 100 um, redstone, so it's got pretty good mining speed, and this thing is really good at mining. Speaking of mining, we're going to try and get ourselves set up to the mining dimension. So at, at Aroma, we can look at the mining tool. So we're going to need flint and steel, so that's pretty simple. We need one piece of iron. And a piece of flint, and I should have flint laying around. I do. So, some flint and steel. And we also need a stone pickaxe. So that's pretty easy to make. We need three pieces of cobblestone. Um, two sticks, and we should be good to go. With that. And we actually need one more stick. And I think it's regular stone, right? Stone brick? Yes it is. I've been working on stone... So that way we would have it for today's episode. So pretty nice there. Um, I could go ahead and make all this. There we go. All right, I think I actually need to make one more and we should be good to go. So this guy, actually let's just go ahead and make it here. There we go. There's our mining tool and we can set this portal over here. Um, I think that will be a good idea. Um, and then with this, bam, we only need 10 portal frames. And we should be good to go. Um, I'm actually probably going to continue it. Let's actually make it a full full thing. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do the full thing. No big deal. And we can set this eh, right here. Why not? Um, I can always move it later. It's not like it's a huge deal it being right there. Um, actually, it might be a big deal. Let's not put it here. There we go. Um, I also made myself a lumber axe. It's just regular iron, by the way. Um, no big deal there. Just simple iron, and we should be good to go. Okay. I'll actually make it right here. I should drop it to the ground, to be honest. Let's put it underground. Yeah. Underground. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it's looking mighty fine. We got two left over. Don't need it. And let's ignite it. Bam. So now we have a portal. So we can just head on in here. And bam. Oh. So the portal to the mining dimension is pretty neat looking. It's the actual flat lands. Um, and it looks like we have, we have some animals that spawned here. Let's go ahead and set ourselves a waypoint. Portal. There we go. And let's see what we're we're still we're, we're at Y level 128 though. That is still really high. What do we have here? So we got some different biomes. It looks like oh, yeah, we got some different biomes. Looks like system collapses portal is right there. <laughs> um, we have some soapstone. It looks like black granite. I mean, I guess if you want to find all the different ores, you would not have an issue here. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh, the only problem is, is we're so high up. Um, I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna have to mine, like, straight down. For quite a ways. Uh, before we even get anywhere. So, I guess I can start my mine... three away. So like this. And, uh, I'll just continue to make a mine shaft all the way down. As you can see, this thing is really fast and has quite a bit durability to it, which is always awesome. 
So yeah, I have to make a, a huge mine down here, and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so I'm back from the mine. Um, I didn't actually get too much. I just dug straight down, so I had a place to go next time. Um, I'll be doing a lot of mining probably off camera. There's no reason to do it on camera. But I plan on uh, upgrading my backpack. Um, that's something that I really need to do. Um, and I should have enough wood to do so. Uh, let's just take this. We need eight of those. And we can make ourselves four chests. And we're going to need the chest upgrader bag. So let's take this, surround it with uh, that. And now we have the iron backpack. Next would be gold. And we need seven of those. And we can surround, oh, surround that with the gold. And that should upgrade it to the gold backpack. And now we can upgrade it to diamond. Um, we have so many diamonds, because there's just so many diamonds present, that uh, I see no reason to not use diamonds. So, bam. We can uh, now have our diamond backpack, right? Oh, wait, no. The diamond backpack is also is made differently. I forgot how it's made. Um, this is used... There we go. It's two chests. That's right. Two chest, just like this. Bam, now we have our diamond backpack. Pretty awesome. We can label it. Storage. And it's named and now ready to go. Okay, so it doesn't really have any upgrades, but it does have a lot of storage. So when we go mining, we'll be able to store pretty much everything in here um, and not have to worry. But uh, whenever we come back with stuff, we're going to need somewhere to store it. So I was thinking we could go ahead and get started with, um, I guess, Ender.io. And it does want us to make the machine frames. And I think I have enough, just enough iron to be able to make some machine frames. Uh, we can get started with a regular old Sterling generator. I know you guys probably love the old Sterling generators. Um, I was actually looking at Sterling generators the other day on YouTube, and they are awesome. I recommend looking up what sterling generators actually look like. Um, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool how they work, actually. Um, it's almost like perpetual motion, but, you know, it's not. Of course, that's not a thing, but um, it is pretty neat. Oh, it doesn't look like we can get into this yet. Oh, we're going to have to need, we're gonna need to make steel, um, which gets us into immersive engineering. Now, I know we need to get into immersive engineering. Um, I have looked at this. Uh, we're going to need to get a coke oven up, and a coke brick is going to cost us uh, sandstone and clay. So I do know we need some sandstone. Um, sand is something that I think I need to go gather some more of, um, because of course I don't have enough of it. Hmm. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go do that. I'll go gather some uh, sand, and I will be back. So I went ahead and got all that done. I did take a little bit of a hit on hunger. So I should be able to fill that up real quick. Um, now, it does look like it's pretty easy now to make br this brick. Um, I thought I had some brick in here. I do have brick somewhere. There it is. So there's our brick, and then we're also going to need some clay. I have clay stored over here. So we can go ahead and make this. Bam. It does give you three now, so 27 is what we, or, yeah, 27 is what you normally make this with. So, bam, we now have that. Also, we're getting com uh, quests completed. Um, sandstone and 36 brick. Why is it not, why did they not detect that we have that? Like, I think we have, we don't have 36 uh, brick on us, but we can. Um, does it have to be a certain kind? Okay, maybe not. Sandstone. Any kind. I guess. I don't know. We didn't get that for some reason. Um, let's see. It'd be under... Industrial? There we go. Oh, maybe we have to complete this. Oh, we claim it now. Oh, now it's complete. There we go. And we get... This, so we get another creosote bucket. And this, purified fuel. So that's something we need to work. Work towards and getting the furnace. So getting a blast furnace. What's the blast brick? Blast brick is probably going to require us to go, yeah, to get blaze powder. And bla blaze powder can come from the blaze. That's pretty much it. Blaze. Okay. So 
making blast brick. Looks like it's nether brick. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go to the nether soon. Um, but until then, we can go ahead and get this guy set up. And we should be able to get our hammer now. And I think we can just plop this guy. Where can we put him? We can put him right here, to be honest. Uh, let's throw him here. We can actually cut away at this fence and actually make the make him support everything. Just like that. Bam. And now this is going to support the weight of everything. And we can hit it. And bam. Now we have a coke oven. How nice. Okay. Um, and throw our coal in there. Actually, I want to turn this into creosote. Or turn this into blocks of coal. That is actually a little bit better. That's going to give us more creosote. Uh, we're also going to need a tank, so I will take uh, some iron, and we'll make ourselves some iron bars again. We'll need one piece of glass, the piece of glass in the center, surrounded by this, and some iron bars on the outside. Actually, it's swapped around, I think. Just a little bit. Bam, and we have a, a tank. So we can set this tank here, set the config to pull. And it should pull the creosote oil from here into here when it's done. Pretty nice. Okay, so that's going to store it. And we can keep storing as much as we want in there. Um, and then putting coal in, that's just a matter of how much we're going to mine. So all I have to do is wait for this to work. But until then, I guess we can go ahead and finish off making that machine frame. So we have the regular old machine chassis. That's what I was talking about. So yeah, that requires steel, so we can't even make this until we have steel. And the only way to get steel, like I said, is through immersive engineering. So that's kind of pushing us there, pushing us to immersive engineering. Um, what I would like to do, though, is possibly get... I mean, I, I really want to move on and get into uh, the mine colonies, but then again, I don't. Um, and there's a reason I don't want to get into mine colonies yet. Um, I just... Uh, System Collapse's base is really close to here, and apparently it creates a huge um, area. Um, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to kind of mix our, our areas and kind of block him out. But look at my little hedgehog. Oh, that is so, so cool. Hopefully you don't get in the water and drown. That's something that I don't want him to do. It's just like a cat. Look at that. He just crawls right onto your crafting table. And blocks you from doing any kind of uh, work. Okay, um, I was told there are there are some lights that are pretty neat. Um, I don't know what kind of lights they are or what they do. I can't even remember what kind of lights. It was System Collapse that was talking about them. So they get rid of mobs. But I don't know if I want to get rid of mobs. I don't know if I want to stop mobs from. Uh, from spawning. I think it's this. The uh, scared light. Yeah. So this guy would do it. But we don't have any blaze rod yet. I don't know if you get that from a loot bag. Um, I don't know how he... Unless he's already been to the... Been to the nether. I don't think I've seen another portal. He might have one. Um, we could probably get that set up. It wouldn't take very long. Since we have this uh, pick here. Um, what we could do, actually, let's go ahead and grab a bucket. Maybe we have two buckets of creosote. I guess I can grab me a bucket here. And we can go find ourselves a lava pit, which is not very far away, to be honest. Um, I think there's one just up ahead. I can't actually open my, um, my map mod right now. Um, it's kind of broken, so... Um, there's something wrong with it. It causes the... It almost almost crashes. It doesn't crash, but it almost does. It's like it wants to crash, but it doesn't. So here's where I got... Uh, got all my stuff last time. So I can turn all this... Right? There it goes. Turn almost all this into... Obsidian. And then we can get ourselves a nether portal up and running. So that would be nice. Uh, how long is this going to take to mine this? 
Oh boy. It's not even showing that I can mine it. I should be able to. I, I have a diamond level. Oh, I probably can't because I my pick is actually only diamond level. So it's as good as an iron pick. Well, this one I can. This one actually is pretty fast at it. I think I should add one more thing of speed to this pick and it would be so much better. But we only need 10. So that's uh, that's kind of the plus. I think we got four right now. We only need 10 and then I'll be good. So I should be able to make this guy. Bam, all set up and light it. Now we have a portal to the nether. Um, I do have this on me, so I should be able to mine. My pick is Ardite level, so we should be good there as well. Um, hopefully it's a- wow! Is this really my spawn? I'm never that lucky. I'm not liking the big spider over here. Oh man. Yeah, I think this guy spawns um, the bigger spiders, or the other spiders, whenever you kill it. Come on, can you just die? Yeah, it spawns out more spiders. Right away, man, we get hit with spiders right away, as soon as we come in here. I don't really need these guys, I need blaze. Okay, so now that we're out of the way, what is this? Tainted soil? I don't know why I hit him. It's like I'm asking for punishment. Oh no. This guy is the ones that'll hurt you. Why did I attack a pigment? I don't know. <laughs> rookie mistake, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't even know why I'd call myself a rookie. Um, but it looks like we have some of this stuff. I will gladly take some nether quartz. Of course, we got good old server lag, but, you know, block lag. Um, I don't think that, I don't know if the server is located in the U.S. I don't think it is, anyways. Um, so that may be why it's contributing a little bit. Um, but when we come up here... Yeah, this is not... I don't want to be over there by the spiders. We can go up this way. Um, I think this is what... was it called? A ghost wood? Yeah, I'll take the ghost wood, because I want the sapling. If I can get the sapling. And I want this log as well. Dark wood. I want one of the saplings. Come on. Oh well. I'll take those. Um, is there anything in particular other than a fortress that I need? Actually, I should probably mark where my portal is at. Oh, there's Blaze right there. Oh, we don't have fire protection? I'm gonna try and kill him anyways. But like I said, we don't have fire protection. Oh, do we get a blaze rod? No, we didn't. I don't want the blaze rod to fall in there. No blaze rod. I don't think I still don't think we got a blaze rod. What? Two blaze, no blaze rod? No way. I can't believe that just happened. Did I already lose? Oh, there's my portal. Make sure nothing's around. Hey, now I can open this. Let's save it. Good, I was hoping I could open my map. Uh, earlier I tried to open it and it wouldn't open it. Not nearly crashed my client. Um, somehow it miraculously saved itself. I will take some soul sand. We'll need that later on. Because um, honestly, I think just to get started, we just really need steel. So immersive engineering steel, and we're good to go. And I think getting immersive engineering power is not going to be too difficult, either. So that's another plus. Alright, so we have some cobalt ore. We could all always gather some of that. Um, cobalt adds some durability. But, let's see, what all... Ooh, magma cream? 
Oh, there's a fortress right here. Fortress right here. How awesome is that? The only problem is I'm about to run it out of food. Are you going to drop magma cream? No, you're not. Will you drop some magma cream? Ooh, we got a quest for cl killing slimes. Sweet, though. Here's another fortress. Wonder if I can get up there without falling in the lava with my slime sling. Maybe. I think we can. It's not the best nether fortress in the world. Don't get me wrong. It is another fortress, though. Okay. Okay, so we have this guy. Can we do it with the lag? Nope, we got wither effect. Oh, man. Already. Well, that's no good. That's not good at all. Um, let's get us some of this. We'll take... We'll take some of this nether brick. We'll take some nether rat, because we're going to need nether rat cooked down to get ourselves some nether brick anyways. Bam. I'll take all that. And we'll use some of it to travel. Sweet. We've already gotten uh, into the nether and found another fortress. That never happens this early. Now, all I need to find is a blaze spawner. And I think we'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, blaze spawner is something that is, like, really necessary. And I really hope somebody left one. Uh, can we look at our map? Oh, we're not going to be able to see it. We're not going to be able to see if there's anything here. Would be nice, though. Okay, what all, do, what all do we have down here? This looks like somewhere where a blaze spawner would be. There it is! There's a blaze spawner. Let's go ahead and mark this. So now that we, we know it's there. Ow. You know, I don't have any food, and I don't have any way to put in the flames out. So don't you do that again. Nothing. Still no blaze rod. Wow. This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, I have no food. And the flames are going to kill me. Wow, I really have no food. Yep, I probably should have brought food. Okay, I'm back. This guy is literally chasing me. Okay, let's get back. Okay, so I brought my fire potion. Fire resistance potion. And we should be ready to kick some butt now. I don't think they'll stand a chance once we have fire protection. There we go. I got my achievement. Get into the fire. Okay, good. Oh, there's also some... Oh, I thought it was nether wart. I was about to be like, whoa, nether wart. That's awesome. We didn't find it. Okay. I really need to put a wall around here. Ooh, they have thorns too. I better watch out. Bam. So we can kill a few of these and we'll have blaze in no time. That's awesome. Bam. Now we got our quest. Kill some blazes. Um, I, yeah, I almost thought that's what that was, but I guess it's not. So many blaze rods we have? Five? That's plenty for right now. Let's see if we can find some nether wart. That's something that I really want. Don't know if we'll be able to find it, but it's worth a shot. It look, kind of looks like the place ends here. Don't know. I will take some of the nether quartz, though. That's always useful. That's that's really useful in making uh, any of the ME like type storage. I think refined storage is in this pack, so um, it's really helpful for refined storage. It's like used all the time. So there's some glowstone too. I'll go ahead and grab some of that. I don't think we have any. It should be lighting up, but I guess it's a graphical glitch. Bam. Look at that. Um, I'll take some of this. It almost instantly breaks this fortress, by the way. There's where the good stuff's at. Let's head down here. Oh, another blaze. I'll take you out. Thank you. 
Yeah, we need to eat a little bit, and we'll be good to go. Awesome. So now I can get myself some nether wart up and running. Good to go. I will take all of you, Soul Sand. Thank you very much. There's really nothing else here for me other than other than this stuff. Um, there might be something in this chest. Uh, some gold. Ooh, I'll try that out. That could help me out later on before we start making capacitors and stuff. The dungeon loot is always a good thing. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, rune. Ooh, I'll take the dark boots. Anything else? Another capacitor, another rune. I'm not very familiar with the runes and what they do. That's something that I'm not too familiar with. Alright, what do we have down here? I see a sword. Yep, I figured. Don't you hit me. Dang it, he hit me. He got me. Alright, so I think we can go ahead and head back and we'll be really good. Alright, so I'm back and it looks like... Uh, I thought I saw System Collapse jumping around over here. Pretty sure he's on. Yeah, he's totally on. Um, he was just jumping around. I did, I did just see him jump. Um, but... Uh, we did get all of this stuff. This guy actually has jump on it. And empowered three, so that's a that's actually a pretty nice pair of boots. Unfortunately, we're already using the slime, but this guy also reduces um, uh, fall damage, so it takes power for fall damage. But uh, we did get quite a bit. I'm not going to complain. We got our blaze rod. That's exactly what I wanted. This guy is, of course, doing its its thing. Um, we're slowly working into the uh, immersive engineering, but uh, we'll get there. I went ahead and planted some nether warts. And hope that uh, we'll have that in the future. Should be able to clear this out. We got our glowstone. We got all this good stuff. I think we're doing mighty fine. Uh, I don't know about you guys. But look at our backpack. We have a backpack on us? How cool. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.